We've been through a couple of tough years. Last year was a, a year of building back, and this year is, I think is a little more the same. I think we're in a great position, uh, and if you look out forward, um, it's the best position we've been in since I've lived in town anyway. Jeff, I remember years ago, you, you sitting at this desk, I saw you after some of the different override votes and so on. I mean, it, it took its toll on the town. It took its toll on selectmen at the time. time. Does seem to be, uh, I don't want to say a, a renaissance in Plainville, but certainly have bounced back. I, I won't call it quite a renaissance because it really is bringing back a spirit that was in Plainville years and years ago. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful feeling that we have met a number of challenges. Uh, we continue to meet them, but we're on a path of improvement, on a path of meeting those and headed in the right direction. Uh, I'll never say we're totally out of the woods. Uh, but we're not lost in the woods anymore, and we are we are headed in the right direction, and, and it's a good feeling uh, around town, and it's and the people in town recognize that. Stanley, uh, you've lived in Plainville probably all of your life, right? No, 1958. Okay, so you're not a townie, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but close enough to be close a, a enough townie. to be a townie. Uh, how do you feel about Plainville right now? Um, right now, Plainville is in a super position. We are in the super position because we've had a little new growth that's helped us. The schools are going to get some of their money back. The personnel seems to have a better morale value right now because you have to remember when you lose overrides, the morale of the whole town goes down. Well, it's, and, it's not and, only losing overrides, you're, you're losing people, fellow men and women that used to work next to you. Exactly, and, and when I say that, the whole the whole town has a sense of they, they don't know they're floundering in the area and so now I think we're in the best position that we've been in a long long time. Brian Noble will hear your full state of the town address in a few minutes but let, let me ask uh, how important Plainville bouncing back and heading in the right direction was the casino right on Route 1? The casino was a, a large part, a shot in the arm for the economic vitality of the town. But they're not the only reason the town is coming into a, a better position. The policies of the Board of, of uh, Select Board have made a difference in the adoption of zoning articles that mean we can expand our commercial and industrial property to get the best and greatest value and use of the property, which has made a significant difference to the taxpayers of the town in being able to attract industry, jobs, and money into the municipal budget. And that doesn't happen because we had a casino. It happens because we have the policies and planning in place that creates and fosters that environment. Probably wouldn't have a new town hall without the casino, right? You, you can be assured that we would not have a new town <laughs> hall without the casino, and that uh, we're don't forever you, grateful. Don't you miss the old one? Well, fortunately, I had only been in the t old town hall once, uh, and that was enough. 